Hi friends, this is Funny Bushan Nagula. Today we are going to learn about synchronizing timer. So the purpose of synchronizing timer is to hold the threads until X number of threads have arrived and then all the threads will be released at once. So it will help you to hold the threads till all the threads are pulled and then release all at once. So this means it will add delays between the request. So all the threads fire at the same time to create heavy load or burst on your application. So you can use synchronizing timer if you want to release a certain number of threads at a given point. So it will block threads until number of until the x number of threads have been reached at a specific point okay there are two options as part of synchronizing timer one is number of simulated users to group by so this is is to define the number of threads to release at a time if you give 10 if you give 10 then the j meter will release the same number of users which is defined in the in this option and we also have one more option called timeout in milliseconds timeout in milliseconds it controls the timeout of the request during the the test it means if you give, for example, I would like to give 5,000 milliseconds. It means five seconds. You set the, the timer to five seconds, that the, then the timer will wait for all the threads to reach the value. The value what we given is five seconds. The value what we have given is five seconds. So it will wait till the time five seconds and it will group or pull all the threads and then it will release after the the timeout sometimes the timeout will reach means for example due to certain delays your the number of simulated users may not be pulled or may not arrived so but your timeout the value is reached means five seconds reached but only nine threads are created but before that as the timeout is reached it will go and release all nine threads at a time nine users so this is the concept of synchronizing timer let's understand why this is applicable when it is applicable so let me disable this for certain time period before we understand them i am adding one in standard thread group and i would like to add dummy sampler so i'll say dummy, dummy sampler to request one so let me copy this request one and add one more request. I'll rename it to request two. And let me add one listener, means view results tree. Maybe. And another listener to understand view results in this table so it will give the timeline at what time it has been executed so in this thread group let me add one number of threads 10 number of threads 10 i have disabled my synchronizing timer as of now now let's go and add understand how the the standard thread group behaves so when I am executing, so let me save this 
so i'll name it as synchronizing synchronizing timer and let's go and execute it if you see here it's going a little, little some threads are in sequential not concurrent all request one and request two are not in a concurrent shape request one executed then it go to request two request one but if you see request one 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 and then it go to it went to request two so somewhere something missing here so if you see the concurrency concurrency is missing let's go to we just table if you see here there is a, a time delay also in between execution so that that's how because there's a delay here the spike or the concurrency is not in appropriate manner so we want to inject the load inject the load at a time on the application so now for example in this case if i want to for request to i want to apply this load all at once so let me pull the synchronizing timer under request to now i'll just go and enable this now let me go and enable this so you already have seen how this has been in the virtual string so you have seen how it the request one and two the request that the time gap between these now let's go and understand when you apply this synchronizing timer i'm just erasing my result now and again go and execute it yeah see now you can see all request one are done and then it went and executed request two it went and executed request two so if you go and see this view results table for all request two, so from 11th to 10, means the 20th. So it is at the same time, all the requests, all the threads are re released at the same time. And the request gone to the, the application or the server at the same time. 128 46 seconds 319 milliseconds but if you have observed that the request one the request one went at separate different time and the request one the second thread went different time so third thread went different time so but if you have seen the concurrency the parallel threads worked here the concurrency concept worked here and all the threads released at one shot and the request gone to the application at one shot at this time job so this is the the spike which are creative which are trying to create for request two on the application this, this is how the synchronizing timer will help us to hold the threads for a certain time period create pool means create hold the threads pull the threads and release the threads all at one shot so then the spike can hit the application and see how this application server is responding to the spikes this is how we can use the synchronizing timer for creating the spike for certain cases that's it for today thanks for watching the video please subscribe my channel and give your valuable feedback and also click on the bell icon thank you